Hey, good morning, everybody. Here I am at the Venable Comanche Trailhead, right in the foothills of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. And all the crows. So we're going to do the Rito Alto four-pass loop. 23 miles, I think, somewhere around there. Yeah, going to take two, maybe three days. Just going to enjoy our time. So let's get it. This rainbow trail is a lot of this. Pretty rocky, a uh, little bit of ups and downs. Uh, well, I think we're going more up than down on the way to the Hermit Pass cutoff that we'll do. But this is my morning. Well, just past uh, Hermit Lake uh, Trailhead, which is right down here. There's a Jeep that passed me earlier. I guess that's their destination for the day. So a little over seven miles into the trip. Still feeling good. I'm gonna sit down for a couple minutes though, take a little drink of water. And um, yeah, it's really only you know, less than two miles of the campsite I was gonna stay at. And it's only like five to noon. So we'll see what I do here. Uh, I don't want to sit in a hot tent all day. We'll see what the train is. We'll see what I feel like when I get up there to the pass and take it from there. Came down from up there through all of this willow stuff to get to a place where I could get some water. It was quite a uh, quite an adventure just to get down here. It looked pretty short, it looked pretty easy, but not so much. Yeah, I wanted to get enough water for the night, so I'm not sure where I'm camping yet. But this is Horseshoe Lake, uh, pretty cool spot. It's got fishing out here. Cool, right? Yeah. Fall summit back there. 
Yeah. The trail goes up this way. Over there, I think. I don't know. You know, you know what we do? We keep going. Till we get there. That's what we do. Look at this scenery. Alright, more to come. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear me. It's a little windy up here. But uh, first pass, Hermit Pass. It's the highest point on this trail. And uh, heading downhill now for about two miles. Try to find a campsite. Yeah. Trail's gonna come down, it's gonna go, it's gonna go over here and then it's gonna swing right back. And we're gonna end up down in this valley here, which looks like it has some water down there. We'll see. But what a beautiful place, right? Wow. And I think our second pass tomorrow is, I think, up over this way. Yeah. Well, folks, I think I found a home for the night. Somewhere in here is where I'll plant a tent and uh, enjoy these surroundings. Look at this. Yeah, it's hard to beat, even with the sun in your face. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna get set up, get some dinner, say hi to the marmots. Today was about a 4,000 foot elevation gain day, and about a little less than 12 miles, and uh, pretty pooped. But feeling good though. The last stretch, I just felt great. Uh, gonna relax in my tent here a little bit. I already filled up with my water, so that'll be ready for tomorrow morning. The pass right behind us here is what, we'll, what I'll be doing first thing tomorrow morning, and. Uh, and there's another one shortly after that and then one more that's a bit bigger but not as big as one today so uh probably 
all together tomorrow uh, maybe 25 2300 feet elevation gain I think that's gonna be about it so uh, not as big of a day as today um, I'm a little bit over halfway there so I'll probably finish tomorrow depends how I feel you know it's getting windy here the big big storm cloud coming in so I wanted to uh, get a little bit of this on camera before uh, before that hit if it does So the pass we came down was right there. That was the first pass, uh, Hermit's Pass. And then it it zigzagged all through here and then it, we came up this way. Um, so we're sitting in the valley where Rita Alto uh, Lake is. And that's down probably several hundred feet um, down this way. Um, there's a little forested area there, but looks like you know what 90 percent of the trees were killed off by beetles there's a lot of beetle kill uh took out almost that whole forest there but um so uh if you're looking for some trees shelter it's probably not a good place to go because those tend to get um you know they're they're dead trees and so if a big wind comes up you know you might be a widow maker <laughs> so uh i'm camping out here um, in the open and it's a really really pretty place so um, yeah it's a great day great day all right so see if that rain comes if not or regardless I want to enjoy my book so read it for a bit all right tomorrow morning see you then